Hello, I'm back with some more Escape from Tarkov, and today we're going to be talking about this little guy here, which is the MP5 SD. Now, you'll be able to buy this from Prapor at level 2 for $638, which comes out to just about over 55,000 rubles. Now, i got to say, it's been at least six months since I've seen one of these in the raid. I don't know what's causing players not to use them. Maybe the cost is a little bit too high. You know, for 55,000 rubles, there's a lot of options for you to go out there. You're not using the Parabellum ammo and at 9, sort of 19, it's okay, but it's still not going to be 545, it's still not going to be 556. There's so many other choices out there for you to have when you're spending 55,000 rubles. Personally, I enjoy the weapon, and particularly on night raids. I love night raids, taking in this weapon in with a 50 drum mag. You can do quite a lot of damage to a lot of teams out there, and it's nice and it's quiet, and if you get a little bit of rain... Sort of going around in the background, this is going to be as silent as it gets. So let's take a closer look. And we'll start with the ergonomics. It's 59.5, base accuracy is 18, sighting range is going to be 200, recoil is 122, muzzle velocity is 278. Now recoil is pretty low because all the SMGs have their recoil lowered in the past couple of days. You also have the 919 Parabellum ammo and you also have single, burst and full auto. So let's take this into customs and see how it performs. I must say I'm not a fan of uh, the sandwich spawn and uh, the wood spawn on customs. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> See what I mean? Like you're always going to be sandwiched in between... What is he? In between the people of the sort of garages, the ones on PVE. You just never know who's going to be shooting at you. So that's like the worst spawn you can have. What's going on here? Oh. Forgot to bind the meds. Alright. Luckily didn't do too much damage. No. No, you don't, mister. Ooh, that 50 round uh, drum mag came into play just now. Beautiful. Be meds. All right, let's see what he's got. I think he quieted down a little bit because it was shooting everywhere. Hmm, lovely. Four VSS. I gotta say, I love the VSS, and I'd love to buy some more of them, but I don't think I've seen more than one or two of them filters. I just can't trade. I wish you could just buy it. Alright, where's your ammo then, man? There we go. Oh, that's empty. Nope. Keep it then. Oh, I see what's going on here. He's, he's got them all in his gamma. In the secure container. Try and somehow get out of this. Head towards dorms. Hey, oh, that's far away. Let's move. Not much loot on the dorms, though. Ow. Ow. That a scav. Bastard. Oop, somebody's been here. What blurring from a shotgun? Ooh. few times I think. Alright, when in doubt, just get behind cover here quickly. Limonka. Come on, Scavy boy. There we go. And he took it personal. I'm sorry man, that's just the way it is. You shot first.
gonna take it steady around here because I think that guy might still be lurking around. Maybe. There's a couple of bodies that I saw. So I don't know if he went through them all or not. Okay. Okay. Ah, come on. Don't have a shot just yet. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Success. That's what he was. I knew it was not going to go away because there's just way too many bodies around here. Not for... Not to loot them, I mean. Hmm, seems quiet in here. Yep. Scratch one more scav. There's another guy here. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to. Oop, more shots. A man doesn't simply take another man's TT. Let's see what this guy has. There's still lots of shooting going on out there somewhere. I don't know, I'm kind of guessing that new area. Or maybe towards the old gas station. Or maybe. Might have been going back the other way. And it was in construction. <coughs> Fuck it, rush him. Rush him. escaped around that blue fence but I'll just hop inside to see if hey this is a uh, extraction for me there's green smoke so I think that actually might work could actually get out let's just see if it's a true extraction or maybe just some trollolo no that's an extraction all right bye I'm done now nah, I'm gonna stay till the bitter end Two shots. That could be just a scav making sure PMC is dead. And usually just just the one, but I've I did see him sort of shoot twice sometimes. About seven minutes. I'm good here. So in between the two extractions, so I should be fine. It's awfully quiet in here though. Oh, what's that? I had the scav. Looks like there's a pilgrim here. What's in it? Oh, that must have been some dirty scav doing that. <laughs> One more. I think that was a scav putting some guns in and just dumping in, thinking I'll come back for it later. Ow, ow. There we go. If you, if you survive, you come back and you get it. If you don't, then nobody gets it. Kinda makes sense. Sorry, man. I foiled your plan there. 
<laughs> Come back, sir. Where's my backpack, man? Where's that bag? Some bastard took it. Yeah, I think it's safe to say there's nobody around here at five minutes left now. Although I gotta say, MP5 SD still has to be one of my favorite night raid sort of weapons. It's nice, it's cool, it's silent, with a little bit of rain behind you. This makes absolutely sort of no noise whatsoever when you're shooting something or somebody with it. It's still got that 50 round uh, drum mag that you can use quite effectively against multiple targets. Built-in suppressor, you can actually mod this a little bit, you can put a laser or flashlights on it, you can actually put a scope on it too. So all in all, a really versatile weapon that you should uh, you should definitely try a little bit more. I know it's a bit pricey and you've got other choices, but instead of hoarding all that money into your inventory and kind of always going for the same setups, give it a go, see what you think of it. It might surprise you and you might actually enjoy it and start using it more.